welcome to the Coal Collective for the Monte Grappa from Simonzo. Just on the early slopes, look out at the vast expanse of the Veneto Plain down there. We're going to be climbing up to 1745 metres over the next 18 and a half K, with an average of 8.3. So, uh, already 8.7, quite a stern test right from the beginning. Just crept into July. Even so, there is some shelter on this early part of the climb. Temperatures are absolutely stifling. Well into the 30s already. It's pretty typical of the region, so you know, make sure that you fill your bottles, have a lot of fluid with you. It's hard to get away from the heat even when it's sheltered. In some respect, the Monte Grappa has a similar sort of imposing authority as Von Tu has over the southern Provence. We've got the flatlands, kilometer after kilometer, stretching out to the horizon, and suddenly, boom, the mountain just rises up out of nowhere. It's gone past bend number 20, about 10 k's in. Uh, it looks like we're out of the tree line now. Finally, part of the trees have disappeared. We're right out in the open. 6%, 6-7%. Hasn't been any let up yet. It's been about 8-9 all the way up until this point. Just crept above a thousand meters elevation. We've got a slight plateau here, so good chance to catch your breath. Pass through those small tunnels there. It's a good landmark to get a bit of a gauge of where you are on the mountain. about 6k to go the gradient's turned itself up another notch 13 14 percent so there's really a section you've got to be aware of and dig deep
about three kilometres from the top. The climb's taken on a completely different character. There's road markings back there from previous Giros. It was here in 2010-2014. Battle uh, scars of, of some sort, but uh, yeah, really not what the, the Grappa's famous for. This is a battlefield, a bloody battlefield at that in World War I and II. And uh, yeah, as we crested the hill over here, as I say, the, the whole character changed and there's so many undulations, it's almost like you're hanging on the edge of the cliff now. So many places to hide and you know, you just think about the actual, the wars that went on and you know, the, the thousands of, of people who shed their, their lives to fight for their country on these, these slopes and it almost gives you a bit of an eerie sort of chill, makes your blood run cold a bit and uh, yeah, a hundred years ago it would have been a very different place. Peaceful today but phew, you know, the history that this mountain's got is uh, unquestionable. clear today. The air remains thick like acrid smoke on the battlefield, almost suffocating. You know, the stories, the death, the loss of life. You know, for that reason the grapple will always remain a legend. Yeah.